بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم Hello everyone and welcome to This is Football Welcome to a special edition show Ladies and gentlemen I had to do today's show I had to do this I, I cannot just sit in silence I cannot just not speak I had to speak today Given everything that's happening You know, around our football club I'm going to speak from my football club's perspective Everyone watching right now or on the replay, please don't forget to slap the like button. Don't forget to subscribe to This Is Football if you're ready to do so. I don't want to keep saying it because I'm genuinely, my head's so hot. My head is absolutely hot and this time it's not even temperature. I'm just mad right now. I have so much to be mad about. So before we get into it, before we do all of that, everyone watching right now, please like the video. Please subscribe to This Is Football. If you're wondering where my Twitter is, I made a new Twitter right here at the TheDonNoSam6. As you guys can see, make sure you go follow me on it. Like the video, subscribe. And let's just get into it. Let's just get into it. I'm fuming. I'm fuming. My head's hot. My head is absolutely hot. Um, I'm mad. Uh, there is no need for me to hide my emotion. You know, one thing I'll say about myself and I'll say about this channel. One thing we will not do on this channel, and I speak about myself, is fake emotion. I will never ever fake emotion. I am who I am and I won't apologize for it. When I'm mad, I'm mad. When I'm happy, I'm happy. When I'm angry, I'm angry. It's as simple as that. And I might not represent the, you know, the calm and collected Liverpool fans. I know that. But some people are not calm and collected all, all uh, you know, all the time. Some people, they're, they're angry. And for me, I'm an emotional guy. I'm not fake. I'm not going to fake things for like. I'm not going to fake things so people can come and subscribe and go like, oh my God, here's the calm Liverpool fan, blah, blah, blah. You're never going to get that with me. So it's just, you know, to all the Liverpool fans about to watch this trigger warning, please don't watch this if you're one of them positivity merchants who wants to hear positive crap all, crap all the time. Like, it's just, I'm just not here for it. If I'm mad, I'll express it. If I'm happy, I'll express it. That's just simple as that. I will never, ever sell my soul. I'll forever keep it real. I'll forever keep it just, I'm speaking based on strictly reality and how I genuinely feel. Uh, you know, congratulations and kudos to all the Liverpool fans who can keep their calm and stuff, but that just ain't me. I'm just angry. And, you know, the reason why I'm going to speak on all this news, of course, this channel is called This Is Football. So we're going to cover, you know, inshallah tomorrow, we're going to have Arsenal fans on to talk about Rice, United fans on to talk about the Qatari takeover, all of that. But before I do that, I'm going to speak because I am a Liverpool fan and I'm the owner of this channel. I want to speak from my club's perspective. Because all this news, it's not like it doesn't affect us. It literally directly affects us. It affects us immediately. It affects us directly. It is it's as simple as that. We are directly affected by the events that are happening around us in the English Premier League. And you know, add on top of the whole... Uh, you know, Qatar to Man United, Rice to Arsenal, Man City just won a treble. And it dawned on me, and it dawned on me, and it dawned on me, and I got more mad and more mad and more angry. And all I'm thinking in my mind is today, I woke up and I'm like, you know that we were on these guys' level last year. Just 365 days ago, we were on Manchester City's level. People were doing clock pep conversations, quadruple, all of that. You know, we were we were really in a much more different state. And now we're sat here a year later, just absolutely miserable, finishing fifth place, Europa League. Just an absolutely miserable season. I know I want to big up James Redmond because James Redmond, when I asked him this question, he just gave a real balanced answer, which has been my answer all along. You know, the FSG out crowd don't like me fully because I call out Jurgen Klopp as well on his BS. The guys who are FSG in, of course, they won't like me. The guys who are Klopp out don't like me because they think I blame everything on FSG. The truth is we need to distribute blame at this football club as to why we're in this position. Why, why are we in this position to begin with? Jordan Henderson remains a Liverpool player. He remains earning 200 grand a week. And today we get news he's going to be playing a Milner role. Um, you know, if Henderson loved the club so much, I don't know why he don't take a wage cut since he's going to be playing off the bench. But you know, that's a different topic for a different day. We're sat here in these last 48 hours. Arsenal have been linked 
and apparently have agreed a hundred million deal to get Declan Rice to the Emirates. Qatar are gonna buy Manchester United, and Manchester City have won the treble. And Liverpool are linked to James Ward Prowse. <laughs> Uh, big up, man. Mm. James Ward Prowse. You know what's going to happen? Let me tell you how Klopp and FSG together have turned the Liverpool fan base robotic. What's going to happen is the likes of Ben and others are going to come out and go like, um, James Ward Prowse is a wrong signing. James Ward, we shouldn't get James Ward Prowse. But suddenly, if the talks intensify and James Ward Prowse become a real thing, they're going to come out and go like, I'm not going to rule out a player before he's kicked a ball for us. Get behind the lads with the punching emoji. That's all they're going to do. It's just we have become so roboticized that we can't even criticize people anymore. We can't even have real conversations anymore. Personally, I don't believe we're getting James Ward Prowse. But I'm just talking about the levels. What levels have we dropped to? That this link is even a, a link. Honestly. Like, we saw what happened with Mason Mount. When I asked everyone in February, do you want Mason Mount? Every single person said no. Well, because we're conditioned to accept mediocrity, two months later, when suddenly the Mason Mount rumors intensified, suddenly everyone was apparently happy with Mason Mount now. Everyone was like, oh yeah, Mason Mount works, RCM. Ball progression, ball carrying actions. I don't know, just make, making up some tactical crap. It's just, it's just, it's just, it's just insane. It's just insane the levels we've dropped off to. Let me call out a guy in the comment section. I even told him before I went live, I'm going to call him out. Is Nasser annoying? Yes. Is Nasser obnoxious? Yes. Is Nasser an a hole sometimes? Yes. Does he get on my last nerve? Yes. The points he makes, though, is there some truth to it? There is some truth to it. That's just, just the unfortunate reality. There is some truth to it. Why aren't we, as Liverpool Football Club, linked to these quality and caliber of player? You know, we haven't spent real money. And when I say real money, I mean like actual money. Since the... Allison transfer. We haven't really spent real money like that. That's just the truth. Darwin Nunes, 64 million. You know, it's just we haven't really spent that much money, maybe perhaps, you know, just three times in a period of five, six years. Maybe Van Dyke is like the most expensive signing we've had. And, and, and you know, you look at it at the time and going like Van Dyke, 75 million. That's a lot of money for Liverpool Football Club. In those five, six years, we signed Van Dijk, we signed Allison and Nunez for expensive money. The rest, it's all been the same stuff. It's kind of we're around the same safe spot. Let me ask everyone in the comment section, and if you're watching this on the replay, make sure you reply in the comments as well. If Alexis McAllister actually costs 60 million or 70 million, do you think we sign him? <laughs> do you think we sign him if he costs 60, 70 million? Be real with yourself. Be real. I don't think we do. I really don't think we do. I know this links back, all links back to Fenway Sports Group. I have already acknowledged the mistakes that Jurgen Klopp has made. 100 million times I have acknowledged the mistakes that they have made. And the mistakes that men like Jurgen has made, I've acknowledged them 500 million different times and I've spoken about it. 500 million times. But there come a point in time where you just have to look at the owner of the property instead of the guy that owns the house inside the property and blame him. You know, every day that goes by is a day I get a little bit more angry. Manchester City, ladies and gentlemen, have just won the treble. They have three-peated a league title and they've won the UEFA Champions League. The same team that we have become their side check over the last five years, Real Madrid, they slapped 4-0. They slapped them 4-0 in 
the same team that we couldn't beat in six, seven tries, they slapped 4 nil. And I'm going to say two Arabic words, and you know, because I have to express myself. To all the Liverpool fans that support Liverpool Football Club, do you know how you have, do you don't have Izza? You don't have Ghira on your football club. You don't have, you don't have, you know, you don't have jealousy over your football club. You don't have love, emotions attached to your football club. Are you sat there like a, like a, like a robot, like a cyborg? Like you just don't care anything what's happening around you. If Arsenal sign Caicedo and Rice, how can we catch them? We ain't going to catch them. If Man United got Qatar, who? Ma'assalama, Habibi. See you later. City just want to travel. They're probably going to get two, three players. Even if they drop off a little bit, we still can't catch them. We just have no jealousy, no love over Liverpool Football Club like that. Where is your izza? Where is your dignity? Where is your pride? Where? Why, why are you just like, you have no pride at all supporting this football club? What is your pride? Well, if I bring a bunch of Middle Easterners, people from my people, my Arab people who support Liverpool Football Club, they have more izza and jealousy and, and pride over Liverpool Football Club combined than 90% of these top Reds. People are telling me it's a good season because we beat United 7-0. Oh, it's a boss season, lad. We beat United 7-0 and... Yes, it was amazing for banter. Yes, it was amazing. We could dunk on United fans head top and we'll forever dunk on them for the whole 7-0 stuff. But at the same time, they're going to get Qatar now. They're going to get Qatar, bro. <laughs> Qatar are going to buy Manchester United. And I still remember the spaces I was on in January and all the conversations that we have. You know, regarding Qatar and all of this, it's just like they really wanted us first. They really wanted us first. For some reason, they just moved over to Man United. God knows what the reason is. Now we're sat here stuck with FSG. So deep this. Arsenal signing players like the likes of Rice and Caicedo and moving forward with, with you know, with like an exciting project happening at their football club. Manchester City aren't going to stop dominating anytime soon unless we stop them, as clearly we've seen over these last five years. Man United are about to get Qatar. And what's funny is, just before we go live, we hear that Kylian Mbappe wants to leave PSG. Where the hell do you think he's going to end up? Al-Hilal? <laughs> Where do you think he's going to end up? Al-Hilal? I haven't even gotten to the Chelsea's and the Newcastle's. I haven't even gotten to them, guys. It's just looking real peak. It's just looking real peak. And you know what, what frustrates me the most about this ownership group? This is generally the bottom line. The most frustrating thing is there is no scenario. There is no scenario in which Liverpool Football Club have money. There is no scenario. We have we get to the Champions League, we got no money. We don't qualify the Champions League, we got no money. We win the Premier League, we got no money. We win the Champions League, we got no money. COVID happens, apparently Corona only stuck uh, struck in the city of Liverpool. Like, it's just, is there any scenario in which Liverpool Football Club have money? Like, genuinely. You know, like, if, if, if the problem was COVID or us not qualifying for the Champions League or blah, blah, blah. We at least have one scenario in which we would have money. What I don't get is Klopp has come out and say, you know, oh, for us, we always have to do it differently and we can't sign a Ferrari. But you say we can't sign a Ferrari, but the truth is we can afford a Ferrari. Why don't we ever act like a big club? Let's look at a midfielder who currently plays for Real Madrid on a real level. Jude Bellingham is going to sign for Real Madrid. They've got Modric. They've got Cruz, they've got Camavinga, they've got Valverde. Shuamani has no place in this team. Any serious football club calls Real Madrid, they're like, we know you signed him for 80, here's 100 million, 20 million profit, give me Shuamani. Please stop convincing yourself as a Liverpool fan that you really are broke. Liverpool Football Club is not broke. Liverpool Football Club could spend six. 100 million without breaking FFP rules. We could spend 600 million without breaking FFP rules. 600 million. Why don't we call Inter Milan go get Barella? Why? 
Why? This is why Nasser, yes, Nasser is an asshole. Yes, Nasser gets on my nerves. Yes, but Nasser also, there's some truth to what he's saying. I'm watching Arsenal get rise and I'm watching all these guys get all these players and we're sat here like talking about like Turam and Kone and stuff. I'd hell, I'd love Turam and Kone and all of that, but are they needle movers like that? No, they're not. No, they're not. And there's a reason why Barella cost 100 million and, and Turam cost 50 and Kone cost 40 because Barella is more quality. Same with Shuomeni, same with all these midfielders. Why don't we ever act seriously? And now, of course, some bastard will be watching this at some point in time going like, oh, what were you saying when we signed Andy Robertson? What were you saying when we signed Wijnaldum? What were you saying when we signed blah, blah, blah? Using all these broadcast examples that worked as some sort of flex. Like, bro, we were at a different stage in our life at the time. We were at a different stage, man. We were at a different stage. We were at a different stage. That was Liverpool trying to build themselves up. That was Liverpool trying to get into the top four. That was Liverpool trying to, you know, get back to, 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 to even qualifying for the Champions League. They had to build from scratch. I'm not in a build for, from scratch phase now. I'm really not. I'm really not in a build for, like, I've got Salah. I've got Van Dijk. I've got Trent. I've got Robertson, Thiago, Fabinho, Alisson. Diaz, these players are not built from scratch players. They're not. With all due respect, if you want to build from scratch, sell Mo Salah, sell Van Dyke, sell all these players, get a bunch of youngsters, and tell me I'm aiming for top four. But it's just, I'm just so disappointed, man. Like, all this, like, we have to sit here and see, like, Chelsea link to Caicedo and Onana. Onana, the best keeper in the entire Champions League this year, one of the best keepers in the world. Kaiseido, one of the best midfielders, can even invert. Nkunku is coming in, one of the top goal scorers of, of the Bundesliga and can play like four or five different positions. And you look at us, we're like, oh my God, like, oh my God, we're going to sign this guy and sign that guy. It's just, it's just like, I don't get how in 2023 you can be FSG in. I generally don't get it. And, and once again, people will never be satisfied, but I am just balanced. I have blamed Klopp for the stuff that he deserves blame for. Last summer, Klopp messed up. We could have had Caicedo for 40. We could have had McAllister for 20. We could have had all these players. You see, you see, this is my biggest problem. My biggest problem with this current summer, before I go to the Super Chats, my biggest problem with this current summer is every single player that we're linked to right now, whoever, whoever you want to bring to the table, McAllister, Turam, Koning, Lavia, every single one of them, we could have had for half the price a year ago. You know, it's just, it's just, it's just that we could have had every single one of them a year ago. Like, we just wasted a year for no damn reason. And I still remember going back to my videos in May from last year going like, guys, we're about to waste a year of players in their prime. And here we are. We just wasted a year. And a year just went to the shits just like that. Like, it's just... It's just this cuck mentality. So many people just have no azza, no pride, no dignity, no jealousy over their football club. I love Liverpool Football Club. I've supported Liverpool Football Club my whole life, man. Where is your pride? You're sat there watching Arsenal get Declan Rice and Qatar buy Man United and City win trebles and you're sat there smiling, hey, hey, Turam. You can shove your Turam, man. Anyway, before I read the super chats, I see the people talking about cap off. Get me to 200 likes and the cap's going to come off. There's 300 of you in here. You can get me to 200 likes in the next 30 seconds. Everyone watching right now, please don't forget to slap the like button. Subscribe to the channel if you're ready to do so. I'm about to read the super chats. Big up to Buck, Sidi, um, Victor, and Amin for the super chats. Big up to Joe for the super chat as well. I'm going to read them all now, put them up on the screen. You want my hat to come off? 200 likes. That's the price you have to pay for it. So it's a free button. 300 of you are in here. You can get 200 likes in the next 10 seconds if you'd like to. So everyone watching right now, please like the video. Please subscribe. And uh, yeah, listen, 200 likes, the hat is off. I think we're like, yeah, we're only like 90 likes away now. So yeah, 90 of you who haven't liked, make sure you like, make sure you subscribe. And the hat's going to come off. Let me just read these super chats. I mean, it says... LFC link to James Ward-Prowse and Mane, would you take any? I wouldn't take Mane back. I wouldn't take Coutinho back. I wouldn't take Emery Chan back. I wouldn't take any of these guys back. I'm not trying to see any of these guys back, bro. 
I'm really not. I have never seen a football club more interested in their exes my whole life. You know who Liverpool remind me of? Liverpool is like some F-boy who decided to become a good man. And he wakes up at 3 a.m., stares at his roof, and he goes like, man, my ex from 500 years ago, she was really good. You know, I should go back to her. Like, how about you explore something new, pal? Like, it's just so dumb, man. Qatar in, let's go, Man United. Ha, all the rival fans can sit down. Hussam, your club is in trouble. I know my club is in trouble. Your club is in trouble. Qatar in the room. Thank you, Victor, for the super chat. City says, I've clocked it, Hussam. We're only getting two midfielders. No DM, possibly no center backs. Stuck with FSG as Qatar take United forward. I've given up. No trust in FSG. Bro, my trust in FSG, bingo. Let me tell you something, you fucking American. Get the fuck out my club. I'm going back to fucking America. I share the same sentiment. I share the same sentiment. I've just, I've just, I've just given up on FSG, man. Like I've just, I just don't expect anything from them. Just don't expect anything from them. I'm just tired. Will I? Will I? I'm just tired. Like, why? Why can't we be linked to serious players? Like in our whole lifetime, Liverpool will never be more attractive than this. Klopp, five, six world-class players, consistent competing at the top level over these last five, six years. And we're sat here like debating if FSG are good owners because they built a new stand. Honestly, bro, like it's so weird. Our fan base is a joke. They're going to still, uh, they're going to sit still, I think, I mean, and watch us get left behind. They hung up on being a clean club. John Henry needs to go ASAP. And you know what's funny about that? We ain't even a clean club either because just go look at the links that FSG are linked to. Go look at AXA. Go look at the bank that's sponsoring us, Standard Chartered. Go look at all these things. Please understand all this, like all this, oh my God, we're doing it the right way. First of all, 10, 15 years from now, no one's going to give a flying, you know what, about doing it the right way. All this, oh, doing it the right way. Oh, we built it from the ground up, all this crap. No one cares. At the end of the day, in Klopp's tenure, there's one title. That's it. That's it. Thank you so much. Buck, Joe says, FSG won't spend money. They will use propaganda. They only sign one, two players. We won't win the title. Listen, you know what I predicted, Joe? I, I, I felt excited about the summer, get, heading into the summer and all of that. And I said, you know, we're going to get two midfielders, three midfielders, possibly a centre-back, blah, blah, blah. And Joe, like, what's scaring me is I fell back into the mistake of trusting the club a little bit, which is something I should not do. Today, I stopped myself. I'm like, why am I trusting this football club? Imagine... We signed just McAllister and Turam. Two months from now, people are going to go like, why are you still complaining? We signed McAllister, we signed Turam. Weren't you complaining about the midfielders? And let me just say this about these robots, right? Let me say this about these roboticized fans of Liverpool Football Club. Why do, we, why do they all share the same four or five replies every single time? Today, it's like, all you do is complain. All you do is moan. Yeah, I agree with you. I should be doing bungee jumps and I should be doing, you know, break dancing up in here because we signed McAllister. Dumbasses, man. Dumbasses. Thank you, Joe. Um, big up to Sensei who just sends in two empty super chat. Thank you so much, Sensei. If you want to just put in a regular comment, I'll put it up on the screen for you. Um, what happened to the investment? Absolute joke. Bro, these guys really. They really dropped the shoulders and they just hoodwinked us all. They just like they just dunked on our head top. The truth is they just dunked on our head top. That's just the truth. Every single one of them, they dunked on their head top. David Ornstein made that article, FSG are looking to sell the football club. And then from there, it just went, you know where it went. It went to the sewages. Buck, I'm so angry, man. I am tired. Klopp allowed these Yanks to have the club in an arm lock. They turned fans into sheep. From now on, I blame Klopp for the state that we're in. It's just, it's just like Klopp come out and says, "Oh, really, Carl? You, you've been in four thousand press conferences that I've done. You've probably been in three thousand nine hundred ninety-nine of them. You know that we don't have money. Blah blah blah. Like all this have no money crap. Like it's just, like it's just you're sat here like this whole no money shit like." 
I really don't get people who genuinely believe that we have no money. I really don't get it. I really don't get the people who genuinely believe that we have no money. Like, are you really sad there thinking that big Liverpool football club are broke? Well, I don't know what to say, man. Like, thank you so much, Qusay. Big Gagandip, who said, like I said before, until the culture changes from top to bottom, I will dislike this club, but love LFC forever. Sick of just competing. I want to win. I'm actually going to keep this super chat up on the screen because this was on address next. Uh, before I do that, big up to Gagandip, big up to Qusay, Sensei, Joe, uh, Buck, Sidi, Victor, and Amin for the super chats. Big up to you guys. Make sure you're all slapping the like button. Make sure you all subscribe to the channel if you're ready to do so. And as I said, 200 likes and my cap comes off. I think we're only like 50 likes away now. So there's 300 of you in here. You could do that in the next 10 seconds. So slap that like button. Get me to 200 likes. And my hat is gonna be taken off. So yeah, slap that like button, guys. Yalla, slap that like button. Oh, big up Sensei. He finally got to, got it in the message. Big up to you, my brother. Latest case, Aroma. Would you take him for 30 million from Juventus? I know he's not the same uh, pre-ACL injured, but still there. 30 mil? I don't think that his price tag's 30 mil. Who said his price tag's 30 mil? And also, Sensei, Loki, you know where we messed ourselves up? We, we've signed like five left wingers. Diaz, Gakpo, this guy, that guy. Like, it's just, we, how many left wingers are we going to sign? Kies is also a left winger. But there's no way he's, he, co he costs 30 million. Even post injury, I don't think they sell him for 30 million. Liverpool Echo. Yeah, but 30 million, I mean, me and you both know that you they aren't going to sell him for 30 million. Like, that's way too less. That's way too less, bro. Like, I think they probably let him go for 40, 50 million. The problem is, Sensei, we've messed up so much elsewhere. So much we've messed up elsewhere that we can't, we kind of can't, we can't afford it really to buy a forward right now. Klopp convinced them, I don't blame FSG anymore. It's true. And that's why I said Klopp and him roboticized it. And now, you know, speaking of the culture, big up to you, Sensei, big up to you. I, I hear what you're saying, but I just don't think, like, let me explain to you to Sensei this way. And everyone in the comments. We've got a Ferrari right now with no engine. The engine being the midfield. So, like, if I've removed the engine from the car, I can't be worrying about the wheels and the spoiler and all of this. Like, the problem is we just have no engine currently. As things stand, we genuinely have no engine. You know? So, we just have no engine. That's the problem. So, until we fix that engine, I don't think we could look elsewhere. We can't fix no wheels. We can't fix no spoilers. We can't fix no nothing. The engine is, is what's needed to fix. And I'm going to talk about what Gagandeep spoke about with the culture. You know, genuinely, my biggest problem, my biggest problem with this whole culture stuff is the fan base and the arguments that we get into every day. Like, it's just, Sensei, I think that's a nice idea there. But once again, there's no engine right now. The arguments that we get into every day, you know, with certain sections of the fan base, it's just like, they're kind of sat there just saying the same stuff over and over, the same crap over and over. And the culture of the football club, it starts with the manager, it starts with the ownership, it starts with all these guys. And you know, you know what's 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 kind of making me like ease back a little bit on, on club conversations. You know, you know why? And James said something when he came on the channel. And I kind of thought about it. He's like, we kind of have a measuring stick during the club era and pre the club era with the same owners, which is FSG. Fenway Sports Group before Klopp absolutely bottled it. Absolutely bottled it, Fenway Sports Group. During the Klopp era, because Jurgen Klopp is an unbelievable manager, we managed to win and exceed expectations. So my thing is, I'm trusting the guy that got me to the mountaintop. And I, I went back to a press conference Klopp made, and he went like, do you really think we have all this money and we decide to not spend it? Which, which clearly he's talking about the money then. So like, you look at it from the perspective of why can't us as Liverpool fans ever look at a star player? I'm talking about a star player elsewhere and even think about signing him. Even think or lust at the idea of signing that star player. We can't even do that. It's, it's, just, it's just like, we, we find a player for 30 million, 40 million. John Henry gets an erection directly, you know? Without Viagra, even at his age. It's just, it's just, and you know, you know what shows me why? Like FSG are just the bigger, deeper problem in this whole thing. 
everyone in the comments, whether you support Liverpool or not, on a real level, if Jurgen Klopp got only top four for the next 10 years, then win a single league title, just got top four for 10 years straight, do you think FNWay Sports Group sack him? Listen to the question again. If from 2023 till 2033, Liverpool win zero league titles, but all they get is top four, do you think Fenway Sports Group sack him? I don't think they sack him. I think they keep them. You're what? You're offering them top four Champions League money, Champions League football all this time? I don't think they sack him at all. So it just takes me back. The owner of the property right now, the owner of the property right now, which is Fenway Sports Group, has zero ambition. And you know, this is something that I've spoken about on this very channel. Everyone in the comment section right now can vomit for can vomit, can vouch for me. Sorry. I feel like vomiting the state we're in. I've always said the problem, when you think about it, is even a bigger problem than just money. The problem is a lack of ambition. I think the reason anyway why we're going to spend money this summer is because we didn't qualify for the Champions League. So because John Henry's pocket has been affected, he simply has to spend money to get his money back. That's how he's probably looking at it. It's just it's just 100 million. 100 million, uh, you know, of Champions League money into their pockets that has been removed. That has been removed. And you know, this is what I wonder. Like, it's not it's not a secret anymore. Everyone knows that Fenway Sports Group want to buy an NBA team. Everyone knows this, right? This is not an Hussam is an ITK thing. Everyone knows Fenway Sports Group want to buy an NBA team. So my thing is when the whole Qatar thing came through, what were they waiting for? Like, don't you want to buy an NBA team? Might as well have sold the football club, you know? And, 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 and you know, like, just I just go back to what Gagandeep said with the culture of the club and all this, and I just go back to, 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 to just like... To just like us as a fan base. Well, I'm genuinely saying this again because it's just getting on my nerves. Yehi, where is your pride? Where is your where is your izzat and nafs? Where is your love, your jealousy, your pride over your football club? Yani, you're telling me you're sat here watching City win it. You know when City won a treble, it felt like someone put a dagger through my heart, man. Like Please understand, just 365 days ago, we were on these guys' as level. We were having pep club conversations. We were talking about winning a quadruple. We were talking about domination. We were talking about the club pep era. This ain't even a club pep era anymore. This is just the pep era. And we're all sat here witnessing it like a bunch of cucks. It's so weird, man. Like, honestly, where is your dignity? Where is your pride? You're just sat here and you're just like accepting everything that your football club does. It's okay to criticize, you know. It's okay to criticize. I still see people in 2023, for example, defend Henderson. But honestly, on a real level, like agendas aside, what are you defending Henderson for in 2023? What are you defending Henderson for? You're sat there like a bozo defending Henderson. For what? What's there left to defend? The guy's overstayed his welcome. He doesn't offer me anything on the football patch anymore. Trent Alexander-Arnold told him to piss off 15 times this season. They don't even respect him as a leader. Like, it's just, it's just there come a point in time where you just have to let go. You can't be hugging people forever. And we're sat here talking about Qatar is going to buy Man United. And we're sat here talking about, like... And we're still here talking about FSG. Oh my God, we signed McAllister 35 million. I have a dream. I have a dream. One day we wake up and we're linked to an actual star player. Not a player that we're going to turn into a star. A star player. Signing a star. Is it too much to ask for to just sign a star player? Declan Rice is a conference league winner. Captained West Ham to a European trophy. An absolute game changer. Arsenal are about to sign, even though they finished second and had a significantly better season than us. And we're sat here going like, Quadio Kone, 30 million. Oh my God, that's a bargain.
Let me tell you something, you fucking American, get the fuck out of my club and go back to fucking America. I had enough of these guys, man. I had enough of these guys will lie. It's so frustrating. Like, do people understand the repercussions of all this? Liverpool Football Club will now be competing against Saudi owned Newcastle, Qatari owned Man United, Emirati owned Manchester City. Ambitious Arsenal, ambitious Chelsea. How long will it be until we're next to Tottenham Hotspur? On a real. On a real. How long will it be till we're next to Tottenham Hotspur? How long will it be till we become the next Tottenham Hotspur? Honestly, man. Deep this, you guys. And this is why I said Nasser had a point. Deep this. In January, we were talking about Bellingham. We were talking about Ugarte. We were talking about Caicedo. And now we're talking about like Kone, McAllister and Lavia. Honestly, like how, how low have we sunk? How low have we sunk? We really could become the next Pochettino Tottenham. We really could. We really could become the next Pochettino Tottenham. We really can. Like just a team that plays good football, has a bunch of exciting youngsters, but never really wins anything. That could become us. That really could become us before we know it. <sighs> Do people deep what's about to happen? If Qatar buys Manchester United, we might as well all stop watching football. Man United is our biggest rival and I hate them, but they're a juggernaut already. You give that juggernaut Arab money. <laughs> it's like giving Jeff Bezos Elon Musk money. It's just like, oh God. It's like, you know, just giving rich people money. <sighs> you know, just a week ago, I was talking about us competing for the league next season. And I was trying to convince Callum and I was trying to convince, you know, James Redmond and all this. If Arsenal sign Caicedo and Rice, we can kiss that goodbye. If City sign Kimmich, we can kiss, kiss that goodbye. And if Man United get Qatar, we can kiss that goodbye. And we're sat here <laughs> talking about 30 billion <laughs> Cyrix. You know, I deeped something. Let me tell you what we're about to become. I think I'm going to make a realistic prediction. I think we're going to become the Atletico Madrid of La Liga over the next 10 years. I think we're gonna we're about to become the Atletico. Two league titles in 10 years. I think we win one more league. Two league titles in 10 years. We let Man City and Man United dominate and we're just sat there like, yeah, we're Atletico, we're a real club, we did it the real way. <laughs> real way trophy has been awarded. Here, look, it's painted in gold because it's the real, it's the right way. This is the right way trophy right here. The right way. Yes. We painted it gold like the Invincibles because it's the right way. It's the right way. Qatar buys Man United. If Qatar buys Man United and Kylian Mbappe ends at Man United, we might all, we might as well, all of us, pack our bags and just stop watching football. What's your favorite NBA team? Every single one in the comments right now. Tell me what's your favorite NBA team. <laughs> uh, I think I need to become a glory hunter in the NBA at least so I can be happy with something. Like maybe I should support like the Golden State Warriors just so I'm happy like in, in the NBA at least or something. I need I need to sign like 
you know i need to sign a full a max deal to an nba team that keeps winning just so i can glory hunt somewhere you know just so i can be happy somewhere ha huh, termiz i feel so bad for you <laughs> you're a boston celtics liverpool fan <laughs> you've seen one nba title and one league title your whole life Tarbizi, my brother. You know how much I love you, Tarbizi. Tarbizi, bro. You know Liverpool low-key are the Boston Celtics of, of football. You know that, right? We won all our titles from long, long ago. The Celtics have won one title in modern lifetime. And Liverpool have won one title in modern lifetime. Low-key were the Celtics. Low-key. You know, Kenny Douglas is Bell, Bill Russell. You know... <laughs> <laughs> we really are the Boston Celtics, you know that, right? We really are the Celtics. We really are the Celtics. City are the Golden State Warriors. Tottenham are the Clippers because they always bottle it. We kind of had that like one Paul Pierce title, and then we just dipped. Like <laughs> it's just we just dipped. Uh, أخي, 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 my guy, man. I'm so sad. The Qatar with is successful. Imagine Kylian Mbappe ends up at Manchester United. <laughs> oh my god. This is the way I live. I'm Batman. I hate this. I hate every second of this. You know, that's why from the start I said I represent angry Liverpool fans. Because I'm mad. I really am mad. I'm going to be sorry with you guys. I'm just angry. <sighs> Qatar bid got accepted. Arsenal about to sign Declan Rice. City just want to treble. Liverpool linked to Ward Prowse. Yeah. Allah help me. Hey. Liffy Bina ya dunya. خدينا يمين شوية خدينا شمال شوية لف بينا يا دنيا <تصفيق> آه. Guys, what do we do? What do we do? Honestly, what do we do? Where do we actually go from here, man? Comment section, honestly, like, entertain me a little bit. Wallahi, where do we go from here? Atini, give me something, guys. Where where do we go from here? Ah, لو لعبت يا زهر وتبدلت الأحوال وركبت أول موجة في زكة الأموال أروح لأول واحد احتاجت له في السؤال أقف جنبه في المحن وأكون أكون طويل البال آه لو لعبت يا زهر آه oh, that's a good idea that's a good idea synchronized swimming bro I just clocked the sunglasses against this light is just hurting my eye synchronized swimming what, so what is like do you like sit there and you support like Michael Phelps and stuff Oh, Ornstein just confirmed Qatar. Oh, no. 
بورنسن اكشلي جست كونفرم قطر The doors scene actually confirm Qatar or did you just make that up? Live in a donia. Did you actually confirm Qatar, you guys? Can you not be a holes, please? <laughs> He hasn't confirmed that you bastards. <sighs> Where do we go from here, guys? Where do we go from here? Honestly, where do we go from here? Qatar, Man United, City, Abu Dhabi, and Treble winners. Arsenal, ambitious, Declan Rice. Chelsea, ambitious, Caicedo, Onana. Liverpool, Kone, Turam. How can you be FSG in? Genuinely. How can you at this point in time be FSG in? How? On a real though. On a, on a real, like jokes aside, how can you even be FSG again? How? How? I guess misery is just destined upon us as Liverpool fans. We're just destined to be miserable. We're just destined to be miserable. We're just destined to be sad. I want to know the worst part. My channel is called This Is Football. Because my channel is called This Is Football, I have to do a Declan Rice video. I've got to do a United Qatar video. So I'm going to get a bunch of United fans. I'm going to do all of that. So yeah, all hell's going to break loose. So tomorrow, inshallah, I'm planning on doing a double header. One at like 6.15 p.m. UK. One at like 11. And one of them is going to be United bid. And one of them is going to be Arsenal by Declan Rice. Oh, the Bilan Shaitan regime. Is that a serious question? Is that a serious question? Do I think Qatar can buy Mbappe? Didn't they buy him in the first place? Didn't they buy him in the first place? Yahmar. <sighs> Let me read these super chats. Big up to the unexamined life. Big up to you, my brother. I know the biggest FSG outer on this channel. He says, no difference between no money and FSG who won't release it. Yeah, but there is a difference because I think we have money. We just don't spend it. We just don't spend it. My thing is like, where does this money go? Like, where does this money go? I'm going overboard, you guys. Man United are about to be state-owned, sign Kylian Mbappe. City just want to treble and they're going to strengthen. Arsenal are about to sign Declan Rice, but I'm going OTT. Because we should be happy we're linked to Ward Prowse. I think FSG need to start spending money, man. Until FSG get out, nothing will change. I know. That's why we fly planes. That's why I'm FSG out. That's why we tweet hashtags. That's why we do all of that. That's why we do all of that. 
Don't worry, Abu Sagar said Qatar is coming. Honestly, if I could go back in time, I wouldn't even translate those spaces. FSG wanted the money for franchise and players. Yeah, but like, if Qatar wanted to buy Liverpool, what did they wait for? What did they wait for, honestly? What did they wait for? FSG have mastered the act of manip manipulation without knowing and them saying anything. We, by default, have lowered our demands with time. You know, Nasser, this is what this is what made me think about what you're saying. Like, today I woke up, right, and it was all sunshine and rainbows. The Qatar thing came out. The rice thing came out. I had to go speak on the city treble on Battle of the North. And I'm just sat here like, bro, just a year ago. Just forget, like, three, four months ago. Just four, four months ago. We said Bellingham, Ugarte, Caicedo. And now we're sat here doing Kone, Turam, McAllister. Like, it's true. Even myself, I've lowered my demands. Even myself, I've lowered it. I'm going to be real with you. There's no need for me to lie. Even myself, I've lowered it. Bro, at least one good news, please. I've given up. Bro, if I could give you good news, I'd give it to myself. I don't see any good news. I don't see any good news, you know? Wallahi, I am so upset, man, because these things directly affect us. Seems to be a few journalists suggesting we don't have enough budget for a centre-back for environment field targets. Same shit, different summer. Yeah, but here's the thing. If we if 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 we don't sign a centre-back, then it's basically a death wish heading into the season. It really is a death wish. Genuinely, like on a real level, it's a death wish. Because Konate is injury prone, Van Dyke's injury prone, Gomez is injury prone, Matip's injury prone. So this is the problem. Like it's just they're all injury prone. They're all injury prone. That's the problem. Listen, big up Peyrad, an exempt life, Nasser, Messi FC, uh, Gagandeep, Posai, Sensei, Joe, Buck, Sidi, Victor, and Amin for the super chats. Big up to you guys. Make sure you're all slapping the like button. Make sure you subscribe. Um, in these last 10 minutes, you guys have an opportunity to get this cap off. As I said, 200 likes and the hat comes off. We are 10 likes away. We are 10 likes away from 200 likes. If you get me to 200 likes, my hat will be off and you get to see my bald head. So it's all in your hands. 10 likes away. So here's the thing. Big up everyone for the super chats. I love you all. Big up everyone who's in the comments. Let's talk reality. We're probably going to get Turam, probably going to get McAllister, probably, not probably, we already signed McAllister. Probably going to get Turam, probably going to get Kone or whoever. So we're just sat here. No way, we actually hit 200 likes. You guys are lying. Oh, we actually hit it. Yalla, I'm a man in my word. Hey, Hussam, the Eagle, Norma Gomez. Anyway, Hussam Rabat. Here's the thing, man. We still have to find a way to compete. We still have to find a way to be competitive. The bottom line is... We can't spend as much as City or Chelsea. They'll have more bag than us. Arsenal are clearly showing more ambition by the players that they're linked with. City, let me not even talk. Man United were waiting on this whole takeover stuff of Qatar by Man United. We might as well all just quit. So, like, we have to just find solutions. Turam... Kone, I'm unsure on. I think the Turam thing is real. We get Kefren. We've got McAllister. We clearly need a centre-back. I don't know if this unbelievable budget that we have still has money remaining in it for us to do this. So, like, honestly, you guys, it's just it's just genuinely, like, I wish I could sit here and I wish, like, I could, I could like, be happy and I wish I could, like, just be positive and stuff. But I really, like... Today, I just clock all this. Like, we just, it's really nothing for us to be positive about, man. It's just, it's its its true that, okay, maybe I'm being, I admit it, you know, Danny might be right. I might be going a bit overboard right now. But I'm just sick and tired of everyone just pushing 10 steps ahead, 15 steps ahead. And we're just sat here like, 
like honestly just just stuck in behind to be honest with you like stuck on kind of neutral mode on on a car like just to wear a neutral you know type thing like it's just do i trust us to make these decisions to take us to the mountain top probably not i'm gonna be sorry with you i don't trust us to be, to be making these decisions so like it's just i don't know where do we go from here as liverpool football club man like I really am fed up because someone said that earlier. I forgot who it was. Like everyone, as a Liverpool fan, you're just tired of this whole, oh my God, we competed, we challenged. You want to start like to win stuff, man. Like you want to win stuff. And the way to get to the mountaintop is by spending, is by doing all of this. And and now you sat here like looking at Qatar to Man United. They're probably going to be linked to Kylian Mbappe soon. And you're still talking about Darwin Nunes might come good like five years from now. Like it's just... Honestly, like, I'm just being real, man. Like, here's the thing about me, man. I know sometimes I get emotional, sometimes I go OTT, but, like, I really represent how I truly feel right now. And you look at what's currently happening around us, other clubs showing a 100 times more ambition, other clubs getting better ownership group. Like, it's just, can I be this excited about this summer as well, anyway? Like, I'm going to be honest with you. Even if we sign Kone, Turam, and we sign a centre-back, like, it's just, I'm sat here. If Qatar by Man United, all that happiness is just going to be undone. Like, because I know long-term future, we just can't compete. We're competing against three state-owned clubs, two clubs who are more ambitious than us as things stand. So, like, it's just, honestly, like, I don't know which direction we could be headed in. And, you know, before you know it, I've always said the reason why I have a standard of expecting us to deliver a Premier League title next season is because, as Nasser referred to in his super chat earlier, FSG have kind of brainwashed us all to just keep lowering our standards. And my thing is, I've, I've just kind of tried to stop lowering the standard because the standard keeps going lower and lower and lower and lower, like... How how low will the standard go? Honestly, like if you're a Liverpool fan, how low is your standard willing to go? Honestly, how low is, is your standard willing to go? How low? Like, because before you know it, you could you could genuinely, genuinely, genuinely become the next Arsenal football club. And I'm not even trying to be condescending or insulting to the Arsenal fans watching this right now, but I'm talking about like Arsenal in, at the start of the Emirates era. Like, we could just become that real quick, you know, like slightly competitive, sign a bunch of youngsters no one knows about, or some might come good, like, you know, like Arsenal had what had like Eduardo and Van Persie and all these guys. And, you know, by the time Van Persie came good, all their good players had either left or were way past their prime. And then it's just a circle of things just happening over and over and all this goes back to Fenway Sports Group, you know, the ownership group that lacks ambition, the ownership group that cannot push us to the mountaintop. Because at the end of the day, we need to be headed towards the mountain, the mountaintop. Honestly, we need to be headed towards the mountaintop. And how do, do, do we make, how, how do we stop this from happening? I really don't. Like, it's just, I just don't know what happens. Like, it's just, honestly, like, I don't know what the end game with all this is. Honestly, like, what's the actual end game? Like, what is the final episode of, of, of this sh series? Like, Qatar Mbappe, Man United, City, Treble, they're looking at Kimic and Kovacic, who are better than all of our midfielders, not called Thiago, but Thiago is a part-timer. And then you look at Arsenal, they're linked to Declan Rice. When's the last time we signed the superstar, you know? We were the sexiest club. We were the sexiest club in Europe. And we went and we signed, like, you know? We went, we signed, like, Harvey Elliott and Sepp Vandenberg. Like, it's just... The problem is I just genuinely don't know, like, what is the, what is the end game? What is the end game with all this crap? Honestly, what's the end game, like... It just makes no sense. It just makes no sense. Like, it's just... The PR have started from FSG, and we all we all know it. We all know it. Like, it's just... It's just pathetic, man. It's generally so pathetic. Can Kone and Turam and these guys... Will they be good signings? Yeah, probably. But will they take us to the mountaintop? I doubt it. 
and that's what we're trying to get back to unless i'm mistaken and unless i'm in i'm in my separate dream world where no one agrees with me but like the whole point is to get back to the mountain top no do these players allow us to get to the mountain top yeah, well maybe three years from now Mo Salah's career it's going to be all of that. And, and you know what it is? I'm going to be real with you. If if Liverpool Football Club do not win the league next season, I want Van Dijk and Salah and Allison to move to other clubs just so they can be successful elsewhere because it just it definitely won't be with us. It really won't be with us, man. Remember, Top Reds called us spoiled. They called us fake fans and all of this. You know, I actually want to salute. I want to salute every single fake fan in this comment section right now. I want to salute every single person who's never been to Anfield, but has Izza, has pride, has dignity, has love, tribalism towards his football club. So much Izza, so much love, so much pride, dignity, jealousy over his football club. We're the real Liverpool fans, make no mistake. I think if Bob Paisley was alive today, if Bob Paisley was alive today, he would be agreeing with the likes of myself and others. He really would be. He would be agreeing with the likes of myself and all these fake fans in the comments. We're Liverpool football club fans. We're not FSG fans. And I don't know how we've been conditioned. You know what it feels like? You know how you hear all these stories about the guys who like have been in jail and stuff? May God make jail away from us all. But people have been like in jail, you know? And then they come out and they're just so confused as to what's happening because they're just, they're just so used to jail. All they've lived their whole life is jail. So... In our most attractive summer ever, in our most attractive summer ever, we signed Harvey Elliott, Sepp Vandenberg, and these guys. It's it's really over. It's really over. I really believe if the likes of Bill Shankly and Bob Paisley were alive and around today, they would have listened to this. And they would have agreed with me. FSG out, man. I've been FSG out. We win. I'm FSG out. After the quadruple, I'm FSG out. It's just, I'm FSG out. I just, I just don't, I just don't support this ownership group. Because even now, as bad as we've been this season, you've got the likes of Josko Gvardiol, who's the most attractive center back in the world, coming out saying, I'm a Liverpool fan. I'd love to play for Liverpool one day. But then City is like able to pay the money. We're not. And this goes back to what Jurgen Klopp says. Like, if we had all this money, I think we'd spend it. I really do. I really do. Big up to Mohamed Ammar who says, Man United gets Qatar, Arsenal gets Rice and someone else. Then Man City being City and um, low chance. Do we go five from five? Can we still really win the league? I mean, because I've seen it happen before, it's probably a possibility that we can do it. But like... I'm going to be sorry with you. Qatar buying Man United is the worst thing out of anything in this list you just mentioned. Qatar buying Man United is by far the worst thing in this entire list you just gave. I really believe. I really believe what I'm saying right now. I think Qatar buying Man United is by far the absolute worst thing in this whole list in your super chat. Because I think long-term future is where we would struggle 100 million percent. Big up to Yiber who says they're going to sell the club now, bro. They're waiting for United valuation. They have no choice. They know they can't compete now. No, but you're saying that. But I think if Liverpool Football Club was up for sale, let's not sit here and act like people wouldn't buy. Like there, there, there is a billionaire somewhere. There's a billionaire somewhere who with a hundred times more ambition, who, 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 you know, has pride and dignity and is a great owner who would love to sell. Who, who, sorry, who would love to own Liverpool Football Club and come and improve us and come and take us to the mountaintop. I really believe it. Bro, there are so many Steve Balmers in this world who just are competitive and want to win. 
you know there are there are make no mistake here uh zlatan says akhi hussam top reds happen to us they are fsg fans instead of being lfc fans they can't be reasoned with pathetic lot you know what i kind of realized even us as bottom reds we still call the top reds reds like we still refer to them as liverpool fans we still talk about them as liverpool fans even though we disagree with them top reds smear us and call us fake fans and all of that but why the reason why we're fake fans is because we want them to be sick we want uh, liverpool football club to be successful we want liverpool football club to compete we want liverpool football club to win every single person in this comment section who's quote unquote a bottom red every single one of us wants liverpool to win that's all we want and we want us to be aggressive and we want us to sign star players honestly like when's the last time liverpool signed a star player Aslan says, Hussam, I'm a United fan, so I hate you, but also love you for the sake of Allah at the same time. I'm so emotional about Qatar. Ten years of pain and no hope under the Glazers is over. Can't believe this. You know the Glazers, I hear you, Yibar, but they could have still sold if they wanted to. They could have still sold. Here's the thing, Aslan. Everyone in the comments who's a Liverpool fan, look at this. The Glazers spend like 150, 200 million every summer. And 90% of the United fans, 95% are Glazers out. 95% of the United fans are Glazers out. Yet we spend like we are Charlton and we have people who are defending them because they're building a new stand. Honestly, like, it's just, when I first came to Twitter, when I first made content, when I first done all of that, I thought being FSG out was just the natural thing you know fsg out of course we want an ambitious ownership because all the arabs who i know who support liverpool are fsg out of course they want us to spend more money so yeah big up to you aslan in katia's lawyer says club fsg operating like a late era wenger sal is not going to play for this club forever on dipped when he saw the downfall and this is my thing if next season liverpool do not buy if liverpool do not win the league next season I would have zero problem with any of these star players leaving. And we can thank the ownership for that. Lack of ambition. Salah ain't going to waste his career. Sit here at, after 10 years going like, oh, this is our champ. Like, we won one Champions League, one Premier League. But because Pep Linder said it means more winning one trophy here. Like, no, it doesn't. It might mean more to us as fans, but it doesn't mean more to anyone else. At the end of the day, it still is one. Big up to Brazy who says, bro, I'm a barber. Now is a good time to fade the sides. I cannot fade the sides because qaza is haram in Islam, number one. Number two, you need to understand, this is my side view. I have a square-shaped head. My head is not circular. My head is more square-shaped. So it just doesn't work. It just doesn't work. Anyway, we're probably going to do a Liverpool space, inshallah, tomorrow. We've got so many people to I actually want to hear their opinions on. I'm just I'm just devastated right now as a Liverpool fan because the things that are happening around us are genuinely just so like depressing. Everyone watching right now, please don't forget to slap the like button. Don't forget to subscribe to This Is Football if you're yet to do so. Every single person watching us right now, please like, like, subscribe, subscribe. And uh, you know, you guys got me to 200 likes, so I took my hat off. I'm a man of my word. Make sure you're liking, make sure you're subscribing tomorrow. Inshallah, we've got two videos. One with Arsenal fans talking about Declan Rice and one with Man United fans, unfortunately, talking about Qatar. Guys, this is my new Twitter. Make sure you go follow me. 350 people of, of you in here. Anyone who has not followed me, go follow me on this new Twitter right here at the Don Hussam 6 Big up to Brazy, Inkatia, Aslan, Zlatan, Yeber, Momo, Peyrad, Amin, Victor, Sidi, Buck, Joe, Sensei, Qusai, Gagandeep, Unexamined Life, Messi FC, Nasser for the Super Chats. Big up to every single person who sends in the Super Chat. All the people who have shown us love and support. Before you leave the video, hit us with that like button. Hit us with that subscribe button. So much content coming your way. And once again, this is my Twitter where you can find out the latest content all coming through. So make sure you go follow me over there, Habibis. And we will see you guys tomorrow, inshallah. Peace.